everybody in here. I've already had my coffee and I gotta get out here and work on this chicken thing, monstrosity that it is. I'll show you what I'm doing for the rain. You're gonna laugh. Not too complicated. I'm not using the tarps anymore. Oh, here come the girls. Yep, I opened up one of those watermelons today when Cody and his girlfriend uh, Hannah came over. It wasn't quite ripe, it did taste good, but the chickens absolutely love it, love it. Anyhow, yeah, I had that uh, metal siding that was actually right by this chicken coop area. And uh, somebody made a comment in the comments section about finding some sheet metal or something like that. And so yeah, I've just put it up there. It'll work, it shields just this area well enough so that this doesn't get wet in here. So now what I wanna do is I wanna bring this down a little bit further and then I want to pull this back. I want to put more hoops out that I can place in different directions so I can move this coop a little bit or this chicken run, whatever. I need to clean up some trash first though. Well, it started raining again and uh, so I had to kind of minimize what I did. And I think I'm just gonna, I've got some people coming over here in a few minutes. So um, all I did basically is I lowered the ramp and I cut some pieces off and I've just kind of attached it so it doesn't look so horrible for the chickens. I think they should be able to get get up. We're gonna find out. Uh, they haven't gone up the ramp yet. So all I have to do is just pull it back a little bit. I've just tied it, twisted. All I have to do is disconnect this one, this one, and this one. And just pull it down and close the doors. And it'll move in a little bit further this way too, so I won't have to be doing all that lifting because although this is lighter than it would have been if I would have used that thing over there, it still is kind of heavy for me. So, and uh, well, what I really wanted to do is set some more hoops up so that I can kind of turn this, you know what I mean? And move this and move it from here to here. And those little hoops that I have, let me walk slowly so that I don't freak you out. These, they can go into the ground. They don't have to be permanent. Um, so I'll figure that out on another day. I'm just tired. Phew, all this rain just makes me crazy. But the girls are absolutely, oh look, they are on the metal roost. I did not think that they would like that, but they do. Look at how fat they're getting. Am I feeding these chickens too much? Am I? <laughs> They are just so delightful. And their little combs, they're starting to get darker. They're starting to get some color in them. So that makes me so happy. But anyhow, to me, this looks a little bit better. It's still not quite the way I want it. But I'm wiping my face. I'm sweating right now. But it will, uh, it'll work okay. It'll work just fine for now. And I'm pretty sure that the chickens will be able to hop up there. Um, shoot, they can fly. So they should be able to. Yep, they're still eating their watermelon. They absolutely love it. And the little water in it, it's so cute. They drink it and they put their little heads up and drink some more. And I crush some eggshells for them. Um, and they still eat plenty of their own chicken feed and whatnot, but I give them treats every once in a while. But look at them. Look at the breasts on those. I mean, I, I don't mean to sound funny or anything, but they've just gotten so big. I just can't believe it. Whew. All right, now it's time to prune some turnips and some beets. Hmm. It's not the heat, it's the humidity. This is the first bucket of turnips that I planted. This is the second, but they've totally caught up with one another. Now these beets are not doing all gr that great in this bucket. I don't know why there was one growing here, but it's not growing anymore. So I'm not gonna touch these, but what I'm gonna do is, well, I'm gonna leave that one right there. I'm going to cut with my scissors all the, the least healthy looking ones and leave one in each spot. Uh, where's my tripod? Huh, let me just cut it. I think that's good. Yep, that's an extra one there. And there may be a little extra one coming up there. And when the extra ones come up, I'll just pull them out. So let's just see how they do. I don't know, I've never grown beets or turnips before. I hope that something recovers in this one. All right, let's go around the side of the house. All right, looks like we've got a couple beets coming up here and a patch of turnips and a patch of turnips. So I'll thin those out. I'm gonna leave the beets alone for now because I don't know which one is gonna be healthiest. Oh, there's another little tiny one right there. Oh, look at my fingernails. All right, in this bed, 
this is the one Judy trounced. So I'm going to leave it alone. Um, she just disturbed all the roots and everything. And I am probably going to pull another row of beans out because uh, some beets are planted back there. But I definitely need to thin the turnips and the beets over here. So let me take care of this first and then I'm going to do that and I'll show you when I'm all done in this exciting guys. I just got one turnip here and I've actually, this is the, the beauty berry. Um, I've got two turnips over there. Who knows if the beets are going to grow. Like I said, I'm leaving that alone. But I went ahead and took my scissors and just because I didn't want to pull because I didn't want to uh, disturb the roots of the other plants, but I got it down to one every, I don't know, three inches? That looks like three inches. I'll probably have to thin them out some more. But I'm not going to even worry about the beets. That's these little ones, like that one. You can see some of them. There's a half a row here. They are starting to come in better here. So hopefully I'll get some beets. And can somebody please tell me... Why, why am I planting beans again? Because I had seeds. You know what? Something's already eating them. <sighs> I don't think God wants me to have beans. So, yeah, that's, the, that's my little garden chore for the day. And I love it. I love it. I really, really hope I get some delicious greens. I'm more interested in the greens than I am the roots. But if I get some beets, I'm making some beet wine. Whew! It's hot out here. I think that looks like a nice little plate of greens. And guess who gets it? Yes, indeed. The chickens. Let's see if they like it. There you go, chickens. I know they're going to. Oh, yes, they do. They'll eat anything. So I've been studying up on the things that you can't feed them, and I haven't fed them any of that. Yeah, I'll have to get rid of those watermelon rinds. They're really attracting the flies, but the chickens love chasing the flies. <laughs> and I hadn't hunted for worms for them today. And they are just getting so big and so healthy. So, I don't know. I think I think they're going to start laying eggs, hopefully, in a couple more months. I mean, they are, well, November. November. Maybe in November. I think they'll be a little over four months old then. And they say that leghorns will lay as early as four months. So, I don't know. We'll just have to see. So, I'm going to get the nesting box sorted. Uh, the little wooden coop that's in the back there. I think I'm going to take that out and scrub it up and get it ready for the next little batch of chicks. But I'm not going to get any more until I'm absolutely sure I know what I'm doing with these. So, But I do want to make a nice nesting box for them. I don't know. Maybe I'll leave the little... You know what I'm talking about, you guys? That little wooden coop. I don't know if you can see it through this netting. The little wooden coop back there. Can you see it? No, you can't hardly see it. They like to get up on top of it. Uh... I don't know. Maybe that'll just be their nesting box. But you know what's interesting about these? Everybody's been asking me, isn't it too hot in your van? It's cruel to leave your chickens in the van. Well, you want to know something? When it gets really hot, it's starting to cool down now, thank goodness. But when it gets really hot, do you know where the first place the chickens go? They go right back up into that van. I'm telling you, I used to come and sit out here myself and kind of just chill out with Judy and because uh, it's a little cooler in there so that's where they go when it's get when it gets hot and then when it cools off they come back out here I love my chickens and they love their watermelon too anyway just a short video for today I want to go take a shower get washed up have a I don't know cold beverage maybe some peppermint iced tea then that sound good and just start tomorrow on something else who knows who knows Need to get my energy up though. One thing that I do know is I'm not eating right. I'll get started on something or I'll start visiting with something, somebody or I'll go across the street to Mr. Lucas or whatever and I'll just forget to eat. You'd think I'd be thin, but I'm not. So, well, anyhow. Oh, I want to show you one thing before I leave. Hang on. <coughs> Poor Judy. Mr. Lucas' dogs are out and she wants to go play. Sorry, Judy. Mama's tired. Maybe tomorrow. She loves those dogs. See that? You know what that is? I took the suggestion of somebody down in the comment section. Can't remember the name. I think it was Diane. Maybe it was a Diane. Well, she said just chop them up and put them on a tray in, and put them in your truck in, on the dash. 
And yes, that is exactly what I've done. So let's, they've been there, oh, half a day. I want to see what they're like now. Whew, it's hot. Oh, and it smells. I knew that was going to happen. But let's touch these. Oh, yes. Yes, they were like, almost like tofu-like. And they are starting to dry. And this is going to be the answer. I am going to have dehydrated puffball mushrooms. I think what I'll do in... I don't know, maybe tomorrow morning at least, uh, turn them over and replace their paper towels underneath. This is exciting, you guys. Like I said, it's shower time. So that's all I got for you guys. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.